The world renowns Brandar and his loot, yes? Ah, and it seems day has broken. I do hear the birds chirping. The whispering of the willows. Hello, world. Brandar has returned to your loving embrace once more. <laughs> ah, glad to be here. Yes, I am. Let's we'll see if we can't uh, climb to the other side of this river. Hmm. Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. High Hrothgar? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the road's getting dangerous. Hmm. Well, if Brandar was headed up that way, he would definitely clear the roads for you, Mr. Klimek, but... As it is, I don't see myself heading there. Ah. There is a bear. Yes. Pay the price, he shall. Klimek was talking about you, was he not? Oh my. Quite some fury he has in him, yes. Burn! Oh. What a swing. Wait, wait, wait. Don't leave yet. I need your claws. There you are. This looks like he's relaxing. Sunning on the rock, you know? Nobody will know the difference. Except perhaps Mr. Klimek. He shall thank me for sure. Ah. See, the bear has gotten this hunter as well. Hmm. A shame. Should be a bit more careful if you are a hunter, hmm? Always have your wits about you. Ah, but I suppose mistakes are made. The problem here is, uh, mistakes can be quite deadly. Ah, Horker Tusks, Alto Wine. Yes, they had quite a bit of good hunting. But that is probably what attracted the bear in the first place, hmm? He could smell the meat. And showed up for a free meal. <laughs> he got it! Although it didn't last long. It wasn't free forever. Let us see what else this Pine Peaks Cavern might hold. Grandar is always in an adventuring mood. We've only just finished with an adventure. But then some more presents itself. And how can one say no, hmm? Oh, Treasures. Oh my. And also a bear. This is not good. I might need a bit of help with this one. The bears hit like a... a berserking orc, you see. Maybe this weak paralysis poison might work. Ah! Oh, he's so powerful. Oh my. How I wish I had gotten the jump on him. Oh, buddy. I shall stay on this rock. You stay down there. Does that sound fair? <laughs> He doesn't know how to climb rocks. Only trees. Oh my. Where's he gone? Oh. Just there. I thought you had learned how to fly. Ah, I'm sorry this had to happen. But uh, you can now go be with your family. Unfortunately you won't get to sun on the rocks. You will rot inside the cavern. But I would like to say thank you for this ruby. It's quite a kind gesture. Hmm. My goodness. Seems he had quite a meal in here as well, hmm? Well, what is this? Meridia's beacon. And that is what's written on the side, but who is Meridia and why would I need to summon her? Interesting. I shall keep, just in case. 
Ah, silver ring, always good. The amulet of Kinareff. Yes, I shall take as well. A new hand touches oh. the beacon. Oh. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Who are you? Meridia? Return Where's your temple? Kill Kree. Make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Cleansing light. Well, I don't like the sound of that, to be quite honest. Mount Kilcreef. Oh, we've got so many things to do. Oh, write them all down on this list, okay? Things to do. Have to pick up the beacon. Have to bring it to Mount Kilcreef. Have to run, run errands for Mr. Galmar. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You think just because I touch the beacon that I will uh, bend to your will, hmm? Bring about the cleansing light in the world? Hmm. I assume she's talking to me from there. I could not place where the voice was coming from. Ah, uh, alas. Let us read off some heavy armor forging. This is one of the proudest professions, okay? My brother, one of the best armor forgers. He, uh, is quite the warrior, as I may have mentioned before. This is by Sven Two Hammers. Hmm, probably a dwarf of some sort. Those Dwemers. Don't know if you can trust them. Heavy armor must be designed to take a lot of punishment. It will receive direct blows from all sorts of weapons whilst protecting the wearer. Leather strips are used to make the straps and bindings in all armor. Iron and steel are easy to work. Just heat them up and pound them into shape. The heat of the forge is not that critical. Just avoid filing off any metal. Always try to conserve the metal and work it into shape. Iron armor requires a large number of iron ingots. A smith might need a couple of dozen to complete a full set of iron armor. Steel armor primarily uses steel ingots, but some iron is used as well. Dwarven armor is made from dwarven metal. The secret of this material was lost when the dwarves disappeared millennia ago. But isn't this book written by a dwarf? Or perhaps he just has a dwarven surname. Hmm, curious. Now it can only be found as scrap in the ruins and abandoned cities and fortresses. Orcish armor requires large amounts of orihalcum matted with a bit of iron. Heat should be used sparingly lest it become brittle. The orcs are masters of this technique, but it can be learned by any smith with some patience and skill. Steel plate mail is made by adding steel to molten corundum. The alloy is stronger than either metal by itself. Corundum is a finicky material requiring the heat from the forge to be steady and not to vary much. Ebony can only be worked when heated. It will eventually develop small cracks that shatter the material if it is hammered cold. Unlike most other armors, ebony will not alloy with iron. It must be used pure. Interesting. And it gives that, uh... That nice black dark look you can sneak through the night if you are, uh, you know, a dark knight or something like that. <laughs> that is a pun. A play on words, friends. It's not very good, though. <laughs> I will be the first to admit that. I can only tell you tales of how to make the Aetric armor. I've never seen it myself, nor do I know anyone that has. The stories say that it should always be worked on at night, ideally under a, full, a new or full moon, and never during an eclipse. A red harvest moon is best. Ebony is the principal material, but at the right moment, a daedra heart must be thrown into the fire. Fascinating. Daedric armor. Well, Brandar probably won't be using any of these types of armor. I prefer something a bit more light. Yes, it helps me to sneak, you see. Hmm. What was resting up here? Just a bear? I suppose so. What an interesting place. A tiny little detour on our trip through the world. But yes, Brandar must be off. I'm sorry to disturb the cavern of this bear. I'm sorry to disturb Mrs. Meridia. Oh, and bats follow me from the cave. I did not hear them inside. So sneaky they are. They are also cloaked in black. 
Although I don't think they have any knowledge of ebony armors. <laughs> ah. Some armors better than others. But the better the heavy armor is, the heavier it also is. Which is one of the re... Oy. One of the reasons why Brandar does not uh, partake of such armors. Oh my. This is not good. I was one to get across here. Hmm. Three stones. Ah, can Brandar do it? This is the question. One. Two. Three. Oh my. Ah. Very well done. I simply did not see another way across. The risk had to be taken. Hmm. If I could find that Mr. Richard, uh, perhaps I could just ride him across. But you know, I'd prefer him not to be a crutch. This is no good. Oh. What has happened here? I hear many dogs in the distance. Perhaps they have wrought this destruction. But to tear down a wooden house, my goodness. Such strength. Perhaps it is a lichen of some sort. I have heard tales of lycanthropy. But I've never seen a werewolf for myself. Hmm. It would be ironic, I think, if Brandar were to turn into a werewolf. A cat turning into a dog. <laughs> it is against every law of nature. Even on this side of the mountain, I hear the hounds. And just as quickly as it began, they seem to have vanished. Hmm. My, I did not expect the uh, High Hrothgar to be so high. Hmm? <laughs> quite a ways down this mountain. I suppose we came quite a ways up, but... Perhaps we shall meet Richard on the way back down. At least this is my hope. Hmm. At least it gives a, a bit of a chance to collect some foliage. Yes. Blue mountain flower and red mountain flower. I know it will come in quite handy. Hmm. And the more rivers. This land is uh, quite a bit wetter than Brandar would prefer. Must do lots of twisting and turning, winding and winding on my way up and down these paths, hoping to find the Corvan Jund. Hmm. Galmar did not mention. Was it in a mountain, something like this? Well, the people of uh, Morrowind seem to be a bit he more helpful, at least regarding these sorts of things. The directions were always very specific there. And here, hmm, not so much. I suppose that comes with the, uh, the nationalism that the Nords have. You're expected to know where everything is, even if you have just arrived here. Hmm. Not what I expected, especially after meeting the Nords in Soul's time. They were so friendly. Ah, seems a fort down this way. Hmm, forts always have something nice in them, do they not? Oh, they hide out of sorts here. Many burnt bodies, probably meant to keep out intruders. Hmm, but Brandar's not an intruder. Perhaps we might just uh, stop in for a little visit, hmm? <laughs> Surely they shall be happy to see Brandar and his loot. The world renowns Brandar and his loot, yes? Hmm. Bandits indeed. Let us see if I might sneak up on them. So you're saying you brought that cat down alone? Why? You don't think I could do it? What cat? Yeah, why? Take down that one with your bare hands, too. Trolls, <laughs> but was he a tough one? 
But I've got the key to the saber cage. Look. What's that supposed to prove? Get back on patrol. Hmm. Seems a tale of catching the big fish, huh? Hello to you, friends. Oh, quite a hairstyle. Interesting. Oh my. We've been caught so quickly. Ah! Yes. Run from Brandar. Your friend has submitted. Perhaps you should have done the same. Hmm. I do hope this other fellow does not uh, follow. Maybe we might pick him off with the bow. Yes. I think this is the most uh, the most humane thing to do. Is he coming back this way? Yes, indeed. He's not learned his lesson yet, huh? There you are. Keep that for later. Courtesy of Brandar. Hmm. Cage key. Ah. I wonder if saber cats are all that they are keeping down here. Running some sort of gladiatorial arena for bandits, are you? That seems quite dangerous. I would have thought that they would be the ones to just uh, hit and run, you know? They don't seem the, the battling sort. But you could be surprised. Many bandits have many different cultures. Some value strength a bit more than cunning. And perhaps these are some of them, hmm? How's that? They don't seem so strong. Used to be an adventure till she took an arrow in the knee. <laughs> ah, easily done. Brandar's bow arm is too strong to piddle about with the likes of you. Hmm. Yes, not even a lockpick. Nothing, nothing for Brandar here so far. But the journey has only just begun, yes? Words and philosophy. Hmm. Perhaps they are educated bandits. My opinion of them changes all the time. Lady Benox, words and philosophy. Former master of the Valenwood Fighters Guild. Hmm. Perhaps they are some fighters. Indeed. Fascinating. I should like to take this book. Maybe i uh, peruse it a little bit later. It does seem quite a long one. Yes. But uh, quite an interesting read. It might help Brandar with his sword arm. Mostly I have preferred daggers and such to get in between the heavy armor. Hmm. And above all else, the bow. The glorious art of the bow. Take your enemies down before they even know what hit them. It is humane, you see. Unfortunately, these uh, bandits aren't as pleased to see Brandar as he would have hoped. But never the matter. I shall uh, continue on. Attempt to talk to the head bandit. Hmm, and another tripwire. Interesting. These bandits seem to have set up some traps. Ah, rocks, you see. They would have fallen down and crushed Brandar's poor kitty ears. And perhaps all that is underneath his ears as well. Underneath and between. Ah, the lookouts. Look out, lookouts! <laughs> ah. Did you see me? Of course you didn't. Your eyes are not as keen. Your nose and ears not so attuned. 
Hmm. What do you have for me? Not much at all, I'm afraid. One septum? Oh. Whether they are bandits or gladiators, they uh, don't seem to be very good at whatever it is they do. Hmm. This looks like it leads deeper to the cave. But I did see something just back this way. I should like to explore all of the tunnels before I go uh, running off. My feet say one thing, but my curiosity says another. Hmm. You sit there? Stay still. Smile for the birdie. Oh. He's a quick one. He saw the arrow coming, moved his head just so. That is what had to have happened. Brandar has always uh, been quite on point as far as accuracy with the bow. Oh my. Oh, you missed. Quite spectacularly. How's that? Oh, these orcs. Yes. Ah. Ah. Burn. My goodness. We might need a little something extra to punch through this one, huh? Hmm. What do we have? What do we have? I was hoping for a poison of some sort. Where have I put my poisons? Potent paralysis. Yes, I think this is the one. Ha! <laughs> and so you burn. Where's your friend gone, huh? Ah, stay down. Stay down forever. <laughs> ah, just a steel sword, but that orc was wielding it with quite some aplomb. Hmm. And his mohawk wearing lackey. Not much more of a challenge. Ah, I do enjoy a good fight, although uh, most of my fighting is done from a distance. I can get up close and personal when the need calls for it. Ah, apples, gourds, they've been eating quite well, at the very least, even if they are extremely poor. Hmm. Fire resistance boots, yes, I like this. This amethyst, hmm, quite flawless as well. Yes, elven gauntlets, hmm, these will fetch a nice price. I like my scaled gauntlets a bit more. Ah, but the elves do quality work, for as uh, nasty as they can be. Well, that's that, I suppose. One cave cleared of bandits. Unless, of course, it does go a bit deeper this way, but... Since it is heading upward, I would have assumed that it would be the way outward. You understand? Oh, but that seems to not be the case. Hmm. What's he doing now? He's on one of his drunk rants again. Except this time he's challenging everyone to a duel over in the hole. You've got him locked in a there duel. Now, but he's still challenging anyone that looks crooked at him. Someone should <laughs> let that cat loose. That is shut the rear one. Hey, should loud. give them a duel. Yes. I think we shall finish clearing this cave. Find the boss. Give him the duel of his life. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friend.